a bitch needs the crown, trust me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hailing from the Lone Star State of Texas. For your consideration, I am female applicant number 15, Mistress Isabel Brooks. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest from season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race and the winner in my f***ing eyes. Please help me welcome Mistress Isabel Brooks. Hi. Thank you for having me, bitch. We are on the same f***ing Green for you guys at home. I am gagged. I am gooped. I am pissed that you are not the winner. But here in the House of Star, you are the winner of RuPaul Drag Race season 15. You said it, not me. Yes. But listen, the viewers are the real winners because I reveal all my secrets, all my tips and tricks. Everyone's been asking. You got real messy, bitch, but I, we'll, we'll let them decide. Oh my gosh. Listen, I had to have a little bit of a drink today to get ready with the one, the only, because when I tell you when you get ready with the queen, you just have to lick her up and buckle up. And that's what we did today. We got ready and we told stories. We got all the makeup tips and tricks together from this queen for you all at home. I'm so excited. So pull up a chair, gather the girls, and Mistress is officially in her YouTube Get Ready With Us era, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Not my influencer era. I am entering my angel era. We are in the top three era. It's the end to my congenial era. I'm entering my chaotic era. Listen, I'm announcing some tours, some upcoming projects, and we got the real one size exclusive. We do. Be sure to check out all the information down below to check her out on Work the World and her own family tour with the twins, Sugar and Spice, and the one, the only, Malaysia. So stay tuned for all the info down below. I love you. Thank you for coming on my channel. And let's get into the gig. All right, so let's begin. Show. This is so cool. Uh -huh. If you guys didn't see, like, I am I'm prepared uh -huh. alcohol-wise. She says she's drinking to meet my level. This is what I'm drinking. I'm not giving no free sponsorships, but you know, the water, we're being hydrated. But if we pull up the tweets, which have lived for quite some time, we know that this is f***ed up if you could really read between the lines. Your so. tone seems very pointed yeah. right now. So talk to us about the glams. We're here to show the children. Yes. I have tried for so long to gatekeep my makeup tricks. Everyone asks me for products. I believe in gatekeeping, but <laughs> today I will reveal all. Today is a tell all and it's gonna be so sickening. And if I walk around and see y'all wearing my face like Trixie Mattel, it's over. So I saw you use the tattoo brows. I saw you have a very, very tiny kit. This is it, you guys. This is the iconic MIB mug right here. Since I got so lucky to see you right after the finale, you're gonna be on tour for Work the World so you can catch some MIB realness. Yes. And then you have a family tour with the <laughs> twins. By the way, I have a bone to pick with you. When you dubbed yourself mother of all mothers to the twins, uh -huh. we looked up your mother age. And when you came out to the show, you said, oh, the old school drag, the Chevelle Brooks. And I was like, oh, this my age. And then I found out, I said, that, oh, this is Gen Z. Okay, so me and the twins, you know, age is just a number. I am the mother, you know what I mean? Like, but even you if do I was... get confused for probably being older, oh, most legacy. I think that's the confusing thing too, though, because like out of drag, people have no idea, but in drag, everyone's like, oh yeah, this is like 50 years old. So would you say, was it YouTube that got you into like the classicness of it all? It's, you know what's really weird when I first, so I started doing drag when I was like 16, 17, and like right away, like I was never like a bedroom queen. I started performing right away. What's and, a bedroom queen? Like someone who starts drag in their bedroom and like, you know, it's, it's good and bad because when you're a bedroom queen, you really perfect your look and your and your whole aesthetic. But then most of the time when they step on the scene, they look a million bucks, but like when they perform, it's a chop. So, mm -hmm. you know, it has its pros and cons, most definitely. Do you have any pageant titles? So right when I turned 21, the pandemic happened, okay. but I have done Miss Lucy 21. Bandai. I turned 31 when the pandemic happened. Mm-hmm, I'm praying for you. And <laughs> I'm just gonna jump into it. Have you ever pulled around your age. I need to add something. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Penis! Because you give me, I pull old 
No, I only like, I really only like my age. I just feel like, you know, the older, the older gays don't really get my references or like my jokes. Like my humor is very like Twitter humor. Oh, so you have old looks, but young soul. Yes. So you don't start with like foundation first? No, I start with my brows. I'm gonna try to do drag tonight. I got me a wig. Mm -hmm. I saw that you start with your forehead first. Yeah, so I start with my, my base on top because I do my tattoo eyebrows in okay. drag. Watching back every episode Episode every week at the club. Did you feel like moving forward, like since you filmed everything, would you change your makeup, like certain things about your makeup? Yes and no. It's kind of hard because when you're there, you have such different time spans to do stuff. There's some episodes where I'll be like, girl, my eyelash is like very Gia Gun T. Absolutely. <laughs> I love her. It's kind of crazy because I don't know why I'm such a sweetheart, but I love the problematic queens who just like gather the girls. So is there anything specific about your makeup that you would change? Not really because every time I was there, you know, Rude loved my makeup. My signature makeup is like the big white cut crease. But for a few episodes, you were doing the full smoky. Okay, there's two reasons. Okay. They cut it out the episode, but Rude told me on the runway multiple times. He was like, I think you, this is the best you ever look when you have the smoky eye and he loved it. Do you still talk to Lucy? Of course. Are you just as pissed as Lucy was if she was in the top yeah. last week? <laughs> feel how you feel, baby. Let it out. Yeah. I always tell people this, Drag Race, 16 of us, right? Okay. There's no way you get in a room with 16 people and y'all are all gonna be best friends. I think that me and Lucy have a mutual respect for each other. I think the way the, sh the show portrayed it was kind of more so us poking at Lucy, but in the real world, me and Lucy would constantly go back and forth. And if you watch the show, you'll kind of see that nuance that we had that rapport with each other. Quick tea, you all have known about the Chevelle mother Brooks, okay? Mm -hmm. She should be stopping by after she gets her lunch, but if y'all didn't no, I worked at math with Mother f Chevelle f Brooks. And when I saw you claim the family heirloom and title, I said, oh, this must mean we're related too. My whole thing on my drag is like continuing on the legacy. As time progresses in social media and RuPaul's Drag Race, people don't realize we're losing our elder gaze as time goes on. So I think it's important, especially in Texas, you know, we pay a lot of respect to our drag elders. Like who were your one, two, and three drag race favorites in order? Because as disrespectful as you are throughout the season. Ooh, and I, oh. I'd love to highlight on my YouTube channel the humility in you and the lover in you. It's kind of biased because it's still in my drag my drag family. A number one drag queen in the drag race stratosphere for me is Kennedy Davenport. After her, close second, I love Detox. And then third, I would have to say, even though she loves to read me on Twitter, I love Bianca Del Rio. So right now I'm about to put on these tattoo eyebrows. Everyone always asks me my secret. You're getting the tell all. Have you ever shaved your brows? Never. Would you shave them right now for $2,000? Never. Lock it up. Come with something new. Now, if I go on Amazon to buy these and they're sold out, I'm gonna be livid. I worked at Mac for a little bit, but Yes, and she left myself. right when my Mac collection started. Uh-huh. You hated me that much. I did. I was like, it should have been me! <laughs> And how long ago did you discover this technique right here? Uh, oh my God, I've been doing it for like, probably like two years. I think when I went to Drag Race, I started doing this more so because just the quick. hair stroke, it, it's it's actually longer for me, but I just love the effect it gives and on camera it looks so real. When's the last time you were like in full high horde drag? You know, I had a drag series on my channel and Joella did the mix to that, but it's very rare that I get in full like geesh. Yes. I feel like if you're like if you have a smaller face, you probably could just use the actual brow, but I like to add on to it. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. This is a MIB secret, you guys, which yeah. you're finding out today. If my Instagram gets banned again from this video, it's on. Guys, we are not banning her. <laughs> How many times did you get banned? My Instagram was banned three times. This is really gonna be a tell-all video because I'm gonna lay it out on the table. <laughs> tell us. Cause though. now it's fixed anyway, so it really doesn't matter. When my Instagram was being banned, it was so funny because everyone thought it was like because of Marsha and it kind of was because of her fans. But that was one of the reasons why I love Marsha so much and I've grown to respect her. She was the first one to like really jump on and be like, y'all need to stop, it's just TV. That's a real ass can we talk about this live, laugh, love towel you oh, gave? Oh, that is Brenda's towel. Brenda's my alter ego. Uh, I had a cooking uh, show. But did you gather and give thanks? <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's given very Ursula. This is what scares people. And it's so funny, cause like one of the things that would make me laugh watching the show when I was home, I would be at this step of my makeup mm -hmm. and people are crying about their like, 
all their trauma and I'm just looking like my, my mother's here so I have to be guys we have a very special guest so the one the only Chevelle This is my Mac sister. <laughs> the water only mother Angelica Sanchez. Hey, my baby. If you guys do not know Miss Angelica Sanchez, legend of all legends. Wait, let's take a screenshot with mother so we can put it in the video. Perfect. We love you. I love it. Yes. So what was your first experience with drag? Like, when do you remember seeing like your first drag show? Literally, my first drag experience was at Pulse. Girl, I always say if I didn't live in Texas, Florida drag. I think that's why my drag was such held to such a high expectation. So it was always Florida. And then once I just discovered Texas, I was like, oh, Texas is so naturally mm -hmm. like as glamorous. I feel like you're an LA girl. Would you live here? Living in LA, there's so many opportunities. So maybe, but you know, I love Houston so much cause I just, it's just home. I want to visit you. I can probably do a little um, one, two step. Definitely. You know, one of my daughters, yeah. we don't have sugar or spice. It wasn't in the budget, but we do have Patrick Star. You could be the triplet. Yes, okay. Yes. I'll be oh, sour. Like, you just know when the girls are on. She's, she, this bitch is on Drag Race. When you were missing all that time, did no one Clock it. I told everyone that I went to jail for stealing and everyone believed it. Juju thinks I stole her ring. I do not steal. So now that you're in the Drag Race, you know, alum, do you get all the tea on the future queens? You know, it's so funny because all the queens love to talk about their season. So I get a lot of tea about like things that have happened in the past. You know, mm. I've had some of the girls in 16 reach out to me, ask me for advice and like, mm. you know, I would never tell. But I'm so excited. Season 16 is going to shape up to be a great season as well. And I, I'm glad that Drag Race seems to be going in a direction where they're focusing on many different facets and aspects of drag. That's all I will say. Oh, I was wondering if you were going to start over. Yeah, I feel very attacked. Relax, relax. Time for a drink break. That was good. This has been working for me for almost two years and I have never had a colorful drink. Look. Okay, so I have a list of questions here. Did you really steal stuff from the workroom? You know, I already admitted I stole a piece of the wall, I stole some jewelry. I stole so much stuff, they had to buy me another suitcase to come home. I'm looking around your house, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff I'm taking with me. Oh. Are you nostalgia? I am. You are. I love memories. I love like holding on to stuff. It's good to remember the stuff, and, like have stuff to look back on. So your hidden must be full. Definitely. Are you a Snapchat whore? Never. No, 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 no. I actually don't even have Snapchat. Now, Twitter circle, that's different. <laughs> What's on the Twitter circle? And can I be at it? Actually, if you go on my Twitter, I always say, if you buy my shirt at mistressisabelle.com, I'll add you to the circle. Give us a teaser. You know, my opinions on things, a picture or two here and there. The other day I posted a video, I was at brunch, and as I'm hosting the show, this guy is fingering his girlfriend while the girls are performing. Well. So the man is just like in her boots, really. I am really honored that you're, you are sporting the white today. I had to, you know, it's my signature. It you could have done a white, a white lid for me. I don't want to upstage anybody, but I will do a white inner corner. I, I don't know about upstage, but let's just move on. When you paint people and like when you do your thing, when you were a Mac makeup artist, were you a full coverage girl or were you trying to push like Always. natural skin? Okay. Always. You know, for me to like ground perspective as a founder, I just want people to see them in their fullest fantasy. And I feel like that's what one size stands for is like we give permission for people to, to with who they could be because there are a lot of like drag techniques that really allow people to see themselves in the fullest and we're not saying don't be yourselves we're saying look who you could be with the power of makeup and for me to collaborate with icons like you that celebrate like who the f you are on the f who you are because makeup is a one size fits all. When I quit Mac is when your uh, collection came out and I remember I was so gagged. I was like, it's so amazing to see. In this day and age, I feel like so many boundaries are being broken. It's because of people like you. Oh, uh, thank you, like, you amazing. too. What is it that you learned that is never on social media that made your drag who you are today? I think what I love so much about traditional drag is these people were not making thousands of dollars performing. They were doing it because they loved it. And when you watch people perform, they're doing it because they genuinely love to perform and be on stage and entertain. When you go back and watch these performances from 
10, 20, 30 years ago. Drag is always reduced, reuse, recycle. It's kind of like as the years go on, it just continues to improve and evolve as pop culture evolves. But you'd be surprised how many references are like- Repeated. Yes. Old school drag is just the blueprint. I've been very blessed in my career to have a drag career and be financially stable from drag, but it wasn't until I was like second, third year in drag when I was actually knowing what I bring to the table and knowing my niche and where I fit in with everything. For me, everything just became accidental because I was like, I I don't want to be drag, but I want to represent like this like middle type of being between drag and like cis man. And you know, drag and gender identity are two separate things. Mm, most you know? definitely. We don't expect everyone to know and understand everything. The most important thing I think is to allow people to be themselves and let people show you who they are. T. Who do you think I should collab with on my channel? I could definitely see like Anitra. That would be cute. Okay, yes. Or maybe I the agree. twin. You know, being a YouTube girly, I'm always like nervous. Like, oh, do they hate me? Or do they not? me or do they think I'm an old hag? As their mother, I will confirm all that is true, but I could definitely see y'all doing a little collab. And I remember like when I got home from Drag Race, you know, we all follow each other and like, we're, oh my God, so nice to see y'all, like nice to meet y'all, we had so much fun. So I have went to go follow them across social media and when I got to their TikTok, they were blocked. But I didn't want to unblock them yet, but then they messaged me and they were like, do you have TikTok? And I was like, yeah, just, you know, at mistress. And they were like, we can't find you. And I was like, ooh. So I had to unblock them. Do they know you ever block them? Hi, girl. I'm, I'm in my congenial era. So the tour is gonna be you and... Mother, father, and the girls. Can we get props to make sure they do a split and how we got? The way I choked and had to be resuscitated as I was giving a standing ovation, how was rehearsal? So, when I normally do it, they usually lift me and then they'll throw me. They'll just drop me in the split instead of like catching me. But they were like, that's a little bit too dangerous and like, we don't want to like do all that. So we went with just the lift. They were like, oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the lift. And I go, baby, we're doing the lift. I remember in rehearsals, they were like, <sighs> and I'm like, one more time, guys, make sure we got it good. <laughs> Can we talk about the finale dress? What was it given for you? The finale dress that Mistress wore down the runway, choked, gagged, resuscitated, flatlined, and brought me back to life. Let me tell you who, who I'm a fan of from, from, from the total runway. You, Robin, mm -hmm. Sasha, uh, <laughs> stop it. Irene Dubois, stop it. Sugar, what about Stop it. Ugh. When a queen is presenting themselves at the finale of RuPaul's mother drag race, in my opinion, That's my opinion! They should come as their most iconic eleganza extravaganza of their drag. The prompt does say best signature drag. It does? Yes. And who did not hit the mark for you? I thought everyone was very accurate. <laughs> who didn't hit the mark for you? America, my face is saying everything that you need to know. Dot com. So when you do your makeup, so you're always just like being on camera, like wearing clothes, right? What did he <laughs> say? <laughs> Wait, what? Because when I do my makeup, I like to be like completely naked. So like you wear like a little like painting, like a mumu. Did I go into that mumu era? But I think I should wear an original Mistress Mumu. Do you have a link? You know, I'm going to get one just made just for you. I'm Please. Being so serious. So who's the real delusion for you? You are the cure for the drag delusion. Some would say I'm the cure. Some would say I'm patient zero. I'm not sure yet. There might be a case of drag delusion, girl. You know what's crazy that gagged me, that almost made me, me and Fabian cry at the finale was that I'm walking out, trying to catch my Uber, and I hear this female fishy voice go, Patrick? The voice. And she goes, hi, I'm Anitra's stepmother. You were the first makeup that I wanted to buy for Anitra for the very first time. Your collaboration Aww. with Mac. And when I tell you I wanted to help hold back all the tears and catch my Uber so he would cancel on me, it just <laughs> Aged me. How dare she? Have you had any emotional or crazy fan interactions so far? Yeah, you know, it's always crazy. Like, do my meet and greets and people literally like cry when they see me or like mm -hmm. they kind of trauma dump on me, which is like a double edged sword because they're like, I'm having a good day. I'm in California. I'm Mickey's and they're like, I loved when you said your parents hated you and like they don't love you. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, but it's so sweet because they feel so comfortable and they feel like they have that connection with you when they know you. Okay, so I've sat here and I've revealed all my tricks. I've told all my tours, all this stuff. 
you gotta give me something. Like, what's like the next product release? What can we be expecting? <laughs> like, when I tell you I made this product for Got Mick when she was in the finale, and I have yet to catch her ass in person, you are the very first queen and the very first person out of anyone to be receiving this product hot off the line in 2021 i won best powder foundation and i decided to create a white one it's called stage white change game that is so sick name. maybe down the line custom lip as you're doing yours in the name mistress could be a lovely addition to the rest of my collection i'm gonna hold you to it We'll circle back. This powder will launch sometime in the summer, so stay tuned. I need an exact date, because I will go through this. So when am I, where? Exact date is on the screen. I mean, it is no surprise that one of the finalists of RuPaul's Drag Race and Drag Race alum is finished before my 10 year YouTuber beauty influencer ass. So you can sashay and get dressed and then Shantae back into the set. Baby, hurry up. You may get dressed. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. We are giving fishy Vaseline Alley realness <laughs> with Mistress Isabel Brooks. Congratulations on all your success and your continued success. I champion the big girls. I love everything this classic Gen Z drag queen stands for. Thank you so much. Did you have fun today? I had a blast and I appreciate all the love. Be sure to follow this old hag on all social media <laughs> down below at Mistress Isabel Brooks all the over the non deactivated account be sure to support the queens follow the queens we need it now more than ever be sure to vote at the next election i love you so much makeup is a one size fits all Shut will the you fuck accept up. the season 15 <laughs> Queen flowers for Mistress Isabel Brooks. This is the real prize, bitch. I love you so, so, so much. I love much. you so much, too. Bye.